Mana mana. Hello, cool. Welcome to Break and Level Two. Today I'll be killing a big live crab and sharing with you one of my favorite recipes. Singapore chili crab. If possible, try to get a live crab for this recipe. The chili crabs at restaurants tend to be too spicy for me. Always end up drinking several glasses of water. That's why I love to make this dish at home because I can adjust the level of spiciness. Make this dish you will need Chinese chicken stock. I have a recipe for Chinese chicken stock. The link will be in the description box down below. Are you ready? Quite a variety of ingredients are needed, but it's worth it. Pretty big, right? Try to kill the crab as fast as possible. Stab a sharp knife into the center of the crab. Leave it there for one or two minutes. You don't want this too. Cut the body in two half. Clean the crack. Move the mouth. Cut the claw slightly so that it's easier to open after it's cooked. After cracking the claw, there may be tiny shell fragments inside the dish. So be careful when you're eating. If your crab is very big, cut into quarter. Heat your pan on medium heat. When the pan is hot, add 4 tablespoons of oil. Stir fry the garlic for 10 seconds. Add in the onions and stir fry for 10 seconds. Add the ginger and stir fry for another 10 seconds. Add the lemongrass and chili. Cook until very fragrant. Will take about 5 minutes. Turn the fire to low. Add the preserved soya bean and prawn tea. Cook for about 1 minute. Add the chicken stock. Water, tomato ketchup, and the rest of the ingredients. Cook until it starts to bubble like that. Add the crab. Cover and cook for 5 minutes or until the crab turns bright red. Remove the crab in and add the cornstarch mixture. Break the egg yolk and don't over mix it. Add the egg. Try and cook for 10 seconds. This is one of Singapore's national dish. We are Singapore, we are Singapore, we will stand together to eat chili crab. Thank you and see you next Friday.